Who would put a desk right there? Fucking OSHA would have a shit fit. I do not want to go down those stairs. Oh, jeez, that's long. What the fuck is that? point in this game is that okay I don't know if you've noticed but you're inside a fucking asylum uh, and there's like heads everywhere oh I'm so far oh good footprints oh good for you you're dead Batteries! Oh shit! Oh shit. Okay. 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 You are wasting batteries while recording, or is it only while the... I think it's a mixture of both. I think the, uh, the night vision drains it further. Okay, so crazy crazy pants went in there. So let's let's go in here for a minute. Not that right button. Okay, here we go. Look around for a second. Turn it off. Okay. I I think you got curbed. Okay, good. I get to read because that's comforting. From Helen Granadnet. Group 8. Well, I'm not going to subject. Project War Rider. On site inspection. Dear sirs, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider. Wall Rider. Wall Rider remains. Staggeringly high. The four fatalities contain enough ambition ambiguous data to make any litigation if evidence is correctly managed impossible project wall rider remains a dangerous initiative and there will almost certainly be further casualties as with the others however family and government interest in the patients is so low as to make any chance of legal actions vanish vanishingly unlikely violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic 
engine therapy gets closer to producing working models. But a combination of physical and chemical restraints have proven sufficiently effective to assure continued control and profit. Respectfully, that bitch is dead. Respectfully, that bitch is dead. I don't care what kind of thought process of control you think you might have. This didn't fucking work! This didn't work! Just ask Bob. Bob always wanted a corner desk. Now Bob's got one. Forever. Okay. Alright. Okay. That's locked. Why should we have to pay for it? Why do we have to die? Walker will kill us just for being sick. We're some people. We didn't choose this. No, you didn't choose it, buddy. And I just... Ah, oh, why is there a door hidden in the darkness? Oh, God damn it. Oh. Oh, it's just another door into Bob's office. Very interesting. <clears throat> I have called you all here today. Wouldn't that just freak you out if some shit went crazy because I'm standing on the table? Maybe not you guys, but... I'd lose my shit. Lose my shit. I'm gonna go ahead and... Reload my batteries. Okay, so. Let's try this door one more time. Yeah, okay. Is he gonna talk again? No, alright. So. I don't think they liked this guy very much. Everybody else they had no qualms with. It almost looks like the preacher fella from earlier. I really do not want to go down there. Excuse me! Sir? Can you quit listening to your sick jams and give me a hand? He is currently deeply involved in them gin and juices. Should I? No, 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 no. That's too much noise. Not when you're... Not... Not when you've broken into an asylum. Not that I know from any type of experience or anything. So I can't open that door. All right. Uh, worst mistake. Oh, and he smacked. Oh shit! Uh, I got I got an achievement. It says elevator operator, in all caps. Uh Okay. Oh, I'm I'm seriously like clenching the carpet with my toes like like urgh. this is it's not good for my posture either. Hold on a sec. What the fuck? Over? There we go. Okay. I will 
have to answer that question at another time. Okay, I'm sorry, I know. What are you doing? You are wasting everybody's precious time. And I do apologize. Uh, Stadius and me. So, no precious time being wasted, it's just us. Oh my god, okay. So... Let me know if I start leaning too far out of frame. Let's... No? Okay. Okay. So... I think I'm officially fucking lost. Excuse me, sir. I'm looking for a key. Nothing flashing. Would be the oh, <laughs> uh, okay. Oh yeah, that's good. That's good right there. I know. I know something good has got to something good has got to be. How is it that there's all that dilapidation all over the place, but yet these these rooms are still. Oh damn! I was standing on somebody. Sorry, Bob. I'm just gonna call him all Bob. I can't see you most of the time because of how dark it is. Wasn't there another hallway? There was another hallway, but it um, it was closed off. There was a gate that uh, ugh, had some dude chilling in a wheelchair, listening to some sick jams. Couldn't be bothered to help me. Sick jams. Can I get some batteries? Please. Sick jams. Okay. 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 Oh. What's this thing? Yay, more reading! Oh, keep looking at it. There we go. Burkoff, Psychery, and Alchemist Systems. Project Wallrider, Mount Massive Company, case number 136, patient initials CLW Walker. Consultant dated 2013, is it May 28th? Initial date of patient consult, 2011, January 28th. Patient age 32, gender male, observing psych, yeah, it's a psych, Dr. Rudolf Wernick. Notation by Dr. Walsh. Therapy status, morphogenic engine activity plateaued at roughly 200 ppm. <laughs> PP. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostic, diagnostics, di whatever. Sp what? Spermatry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation MRI scans consistent with patients report reported dreams interview notes Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations yeah, yeah restraints have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size I wonder if that was the guy with the fish Internet says the key card can be found through the large office at the end of the hall. In the last room on, the, on a dead body. Oh! Okay. Good to know. We'll get to that next in, a, in, a, in a minute. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seem to have some boyhood experience with tantrum lizard, taunt, tantra lizards, and their parental eye. Parental eye? Okay, I. Mm. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh. Specifically around his lips and nose, attempting to, att 
attending or ordeals should be advised to uh, oh I'm sorry attending orderly should be advised to watch for further self mutilation the mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghan Afghanistan I cannot read tonight seem to be retarding progression of the ME process his predominant fixation amplifi amplified by therapy if a manic exaggeration of military security protocol, a con continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. I wonder if that's the man that threw me off the uh, banister. Little fish. Where's my thing? There's my thing. Fucking music. Fucking music. Go in there. <sighs> oh, if it's telling me to peek, there's something in there. Okay. No. Okay, we're good. Oh. Oh. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. <sighs> okay. Yo, dude, are you listening to the new Michael Jackson? I hear it's pretty sweet jams. Are you okay, my friend? All right. I'm going to back away slowly. I should not turn my back to that. Oh! Part of me wanted to just walk into that room and be all like, What's up, guys? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yes. That is a very good idea. It's a very good idea. Thank you. Steadiest. Watching out. Bob, uh, how you doing in here, buddy? You all right? Cause I don't think he's got the key code. I don't think it's on him. You gotta admit, that's a fairly large office. Fucking music every time I come out of that shit. Pisses me off. Okay. So here's what's gonna happen. We are gonna YOLO this shit. We're gonna walk right into that room to see what happens. The only way I know how. Okay. No! Yes. You guys are gonna get sick of me doing that. I'm gonna do that a lot. Do that a lot. Okay, dude, just chill there listening to your sick, sick jams. I'm going. Right, 
we're gonna do this. What's gonna happen? Oh, shit's gonna hit the fan as soon as I grab this. Look, it became easier to see as soon as I did that. Okay, good thing to know. Dude, this guy's breathing is starting to impact my breathing. One, two, three. It's all good. Don't worry about me. Nothing to see here. Oh, you're under the Kanye West, I see. Ah! Oh my fucking god, get off! Get him out! The gun you're in there! Let's in pain! Yeah! Oh fuck, what did he do? What did he do? Oh sweet Jesus. Okay, we don't need that kind of shit going on. We don't need that. We're... <sighs> sweating. Sweating like a motherfucker. Okay. Pull himself back up into the chair. Let me go watch him some friends. Okay. Okay, I think he's in there watching friends with the other guys. It's a good show. But you guys really should move away from that Netflix. That binge watching is gonna. Uh... Oh, yet again! <laughs> Why the fuck do you tell me that shit now?
Hold up. Hold up. Woo. God damn that music. God damn that music. Uh, okay. Step back into the darkness, squat down in a pile of our own piss, and have a good read, yeah? Alright. Let me get that wire out from underneath you, dog. Black Lair Program CIA document number 190691 part 1 excerpt 2 file. Excuse me, subject. Hypnotic Experiment and Research, February 10th, 1954. On Wednesday, 10th, February 1954, hypnotic experimentation and research work was continued in Building 13, ominous, of the Mount Massive Preserves in the Colorado using the following subjects. Material abridged. One, a psycho... Nope. Yeah, I can't read where this shit. Of the night before, pointed fingers, you will sleep, as enact was enacted. Mrs. Jackson and Pierce immediately progressed to a deep hypnotic state with no further suggestion. Miss Pierce was then instructed, having previously expressed a fear of firearms in any fashion, that she would use every method of her at her disposal to awaken Miss Jackson now in a deep hypnotic sleep. Failing this, she would pick up a nearby pistol and fire it at Miss Jackson. She was instructed that her rage would be so great that she would not hesitate to kill Jackson for failing to awaken. Miss Pierce carried out these suggestions to the letter, including firing the unloaded pneumatic pistol gun at Jackson, and then proceeded to fall into a deep sleep. After proper suggestions were made, both were awakened and expressed complete amnesia for the entire sequence. Miss Pierce was again handed the gun, which she refused in an awkward state, to pick up or accept from the operator. She expressed absolute denial that the foregoing sequence had happened. Yay for batteries! Who's... Who's there? 